In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to add text to your videos and create motion graphic titles to make your videos more engaging and ready to share on your website or social media. I'll also teach you how you can make customizations so that they are unique to your videos. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. In our first example, we're going to create a motion title for a YouTube video travel vlog. We need to first add text or a title. Click on the Title Library icon, and then double-click on the Preview pane to add text. Then type out your title. In this case, Tina's Travels. Then make any customizations to the font type and color under the Title options. Now click on the Overlays tab, and I'll click on the Library folder where I've saved my motion graphics. Now drag the motion graphic you want to use onto the title layer. A number will now appear showing that there are two objects stacked together in this title. If you click on the number icon, you will see a list of the objects stacked within the title. Click on the object you want to modify. In this case, I'll click on Travel Titles 1. Now I can click and drag the motion graphic on the preview pane to readjust its position. I can also click and drag on the orange boxes to adjust the size or the green boxes to adjust the perspective. Now let's press play to preview our motion title. You can see that the motion graphic doesn't appear until part of the way through. You can choose to customize the entry and exit points of both the graphic and the title. To do this, make sure you click on the number icon to select the object you want to modify and then click and drag on the Travel Titles 1 motion graphic to reposition it within the title layer so it begins at the same time as the text. Or you can hover your mouse over the left or right edge of the layer and click and drag to adjust its entry and exit point. Now when we preview this, you'll see our title motion graphic appears at the same time as our title text. We can also save this as a preset to use in future videos and save a lot of time. To do this, right-click on the title layer and select Merge and Save as Template, and choose the Custom folder or Create a new folder. If we go to the Titles Library and select the Custom folder, we can click and drag our new preset onto the title track to use again and again in future projects, and we can still make custom edits to the title created. In our final example, I'm going to show you how to make more unique customizations to your motion graphic titles. In this example, we're creating a promo video for a business. Again, I have added my title to the title track. For this example, I want the motion graphic to pop up before the title does, so I have to add it to the overlay track on the timeline. I'll drag Callout Titles 1 to the overlay track above my title. Again, I'll readjust the size and position of the motion graphic and make any adjustments to the title layer so it fits with the motion graphic. Now let's make some customizations. Click on the Callout Titles 1 layer on the timeline. Under the Edit tab, we can adjust the transparency of the layer by dragging this slider here. We can also click on the Color tab, then click on Color Wheel. From here, we can play around with any of the color wheels to completely change the color of the motion graphic to match our brand colors or video color scheme. Finally, you can click on the Transitions Library and add a fade or dissolve to the end of the overlay and text layer so it softly disappears. These are just a few ways you can create and customize motion graphic titles for your video projects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.